let us learn about a poem hope is a thing with feathers written by emily dickinson hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all and sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm i have heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all and sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm i have heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all and sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm i have heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea yet never in extremity it has the crumb of me main idea of the poem hope by emily dickinson is a reminder to the mankind that something lives inside of us that is why we are not alone as hope is there for us singing the voice of encouragement emily dickinson visualizes hope as a living being instead of an abstract entity which is why hope is considered as a bird singing continuously in the human soul song of this bird seems sweetest even in turbulent storm which stands for the period of crisis in someone's life why is hope compared to a bird like hope the bird's courage and perseverance in the face of difficult circumstances is heartening like the bird hope kept so many warm by offering a way to look beyond the harsh reality to the promise of something better to come how does the poet describe hope the speaker describes hope as a bird means a thing with feathers that perches in the soul there it sings wordlessly and without pause he defines hope as a feather creature that dwells inside the human spirit this feathery thing sings a wordless tune not stopping under any circumstance its tune sounds best when heard in fierce winds only an incredibly severe storm could stop this bird from singing the hope bird has made many people feel warm the speaker has heard the bird singing in the coldest places and on the weirdest seas but in the speaker's experiences even the most extreme ones the bird has never asked for anything in return thing with feathers written around 1861 is a popular poem by the american poet emily dickinson in the poem hope is metaphorically transformed into a strong will bird that lives within the human soul and sings its song no matter what hope is a thing with feathers is a kind of hymn of praise written to honor the human capacity for hope using an extended metaphor the poem portrays hope as a bird that lives within the human soul come what may this bird sings in rain or sunshine gale or storm good times or bad the poem begins by establishing its key metaphor that hope is a bird it then tells the reader more about this bird adding detail before showing it in different situations the poem is concluded by stating that despite all it does hope never asks for anything from the speaker
The three devices used in the poem Hope is a Thing with Feathers, Hope is a Thing with Feathers by Emily Dickinson is a poem about hope. It is depicted through the famous metaphor of a bird. The poet uses literary devices such as personification, repetition, alliteration, etc. Emily Dickinson personifies hope as a sweet singing bird that is always there for you in stating that a storm must be sowed to hurt the confidence of the bird. She thus uses an extended metaphor. It likens the concept of hope to a feathered bird that is permanently perched in the soul of every human. Repetition is one such device where the poet uses the word that several times repeatedly throughout the poem. Hope is a thing with feathers. Look at the first stanza. Second line which says that perches in the soul in the first stanza that is used for the first time. In the second stanza that could abash the little bird comes in the third line. That kept so many warm comes in the fourth line of the second stanza. So that is being used more often by the poet in the poem. Now coming to enjambment. Enjambment is seen when the poet cuts off a line before its natural stopping point. For example, the transition between lines 3 and 4 of the second stanza. Now let me explain the literary term called metaphor. Feathers is a word which is being used as a metaphor in the poem, mainly to express the quality of hope. Hope is being imagined as a bird that sings words of courage to lift one's spirit. Now where does this word called feathers appear in the poem? Feathers appears in the first line of the poem which says, Hope is a thing with feathers. So feathers is being used as a metaphor. Alliteration Stranger see. This is an example of alliteration where the sound is repeated at the beginning of consecutive words. Where does this word called stranger see occur in the poem? I have heard it in the chillest land and on the stranger sea. So this word called stranger sea can be seen in the second line of the third stanza. The poet Emily Dickinson uses figurative language in her poem Hope is a Thing with Feathers. She uses different kinds of words in her poem. We come across words like sings the tune, where the sense of hearing is appealed, heard, where the sense of sound is appealed, warm implies touch, sore means painful, which is a feeling, chillious is again a feeling. said earlier, the poet Emily Dickinson uses figurative language that is metaphor, simile, personification, symbolism. Now let us look at the words or phrases which are being used as metaphors for personification and for symbolism. The thing with feathers. Here the type of literary term here implies is metaphor. And what is being compared here as a metaphor? Hope and bird. Because bird, it sings. Hope is a bird which sings and it flies. Another word is sings the tune. Who sings the tune? Bird sings the tune. Endlessly, continuously, wordlessly. So, bird, hope is a bird. Hope is being used as a person. So, this stands for personification. Gales and storm. Chilliest land, stranger sea, crumb. These are all the words which symbolizes, which represent symbolism. Means these are the words which symbolize difficult situations where one finds hard to survive.